Okay. Okay, guys. So for this recipe, you're gonna take two bell peppers, and you're gonna want to cut them. This isn't like when you stuff them and you cut the top out and hollow them out. This one, you're gonna want to cut them lengthwise, right down there, and then scoop out the middle. So see, here was your pepper originally, like so. And now you have two pieces. And take out all the insides, and you get a spoon to get out all the rest. Put all your peppers into a little microwave safe container. To try to keep them kind of a little upright. There we go. You're going to do these for about three minutes. And that's just going to make sure that they're softer. We're still going to put these in the oven, but this will just make them really tender and delicious to eat when they come out of the oven. I took a medium sized onion and I cut it in half. Then I take the half. And what you do is you cut it like this, and you just you cut down, you slice it that way. You end up like this, you cut down, straight down. Then when you separate them, if you see, they're going to be perfect shape and size to saute, because you're essentially making like a cheese steak type of thing. Okay, so I'm using about half of a medium sized onion, not quite. So if this is a small pan. Okay, you're gonna wanna add a little bit of butter, olive oil, and minced garlic to a saucepan and add in your sliced onions and mushrooms. I forgot mushrooms, we ran out, I didn't know. So mine is minus mushrooms, but the mushrooms are delicious, so don't forget them. <laughs> you're gonna want to saute these with um, about a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of olive oil, and a little bit of minced garlic, just to your taste preference. You can also salt and pepper them if you want. Saute all of that until it's nice and cooked. It usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe longer, depending on how much you use. But just make sure that the onions have turned more translucent and everything is nice and cooked. So next you're going to take roast beef and just slice it up this way. Just Look at these delicious steamed bell pepper. You will see they do have liquid in them. Just when you pick them up carefully, make sure you dump that out. Okay, next you're going to take provolone cheese and you are going to line the inside of each of these peppers. Yay! So now that my onions and my mushrooms that I forgot <laughs> are ready, make sure that's churned to low. I'm going to add the roast beef. Okay, so you'll have your roast beef, your onions, and your mushrooms. You're actually not going to cook the roast beef in here. This is, I'm just doing this just to kind of mix them up. And I find it's easier to mix them up in the pan just to get all the juices. Like it kind of sears in a little extra flavor before we start to cook them. So remember, pretend that there's also mushrooms in here and mix all of this up really thoroughly. Remove it from the heat and you're going to spoon your mushroom, onion, and roast beef mixture into each of the peppers. Okay, so each of these is filled, and you're going to take another slice of provolone, and you're going to stick it on the top, just like that. You don't have to worry about smushing it down. It is going to melt that way. And we're going to cook these at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the cheese is all melty and bubbly and delicious looking. All right, you guys, so here they are out of the oven. They're really soft and I actually had one extra slice of provolone so I just uh, divided it between the four of them. I actually let mine cook a little long so your cheese is more melted. You can see how delicious they look. There it is cut open. Delicious.